decided to get rid of my gas, my self-propelled gas lawnmower. I'm tired of smelling fumes all the time and, you know, burning the gas. The biggest thing is the fumes. It really bothers my sinuses. And then I smell like gas, so I can't stand that. So I've decided to try one of the old-fashioned push reel mowers. Now, this is my old um, Craftsman lawnmower. It's not a bad old mower. Actually, it's a good mower. It's just that, you know, I get tired of the gas fumes. Now, I decided to go with the real mower, and the first one I bought was a Hushkaverna model. Now, that company is known to produce quality products, and it has a four-year warranty, so it has a good warranty by a good company. But the thing I don't like is that this cog here to raise and lower the, uh, excuse the mess, the back wheels here so you can do the height adjustment is plastic. And uh, although it does have a four-year warranty, I don't like that it's plastic because I can anticipate that breaking. Say I move the mower in the winter time when it's brittle because it's cold out, or you know, as you use this in the sun, this plastic might start to deteriorate. So I decided to get the Fiskars model, so I'm going to use that, and I'm going to take this old one back. So I will be doing a review on the Fiskars once I start using it. Okay, I've decided to unbox this guy and put it together. Um, one thing I see I like already, that's that this, this one has a blade guard on here. The other, the Husqvarna didn't have that. And you know what, these blades are, they're huge, okay, and they're sharp. And they spin like this, so it would be real easy as you're trying to pull this out of the box to get your fingers caught in these blades and maybe get a bad cut. On one and I can tell you that this device this Fiskars device is probably four three or four times heavier than the Husqvarna so uh, again uh, we'll see how it works I can tell you that adjusting the blades on the Husqvarna is a lot easier than this um, this looks like your blade adjusts it's the only thing I see so I'm assuming that's it um, on the Husqvarna, there's a little Allen screw with a spring on it, and, you, and they give you the Allen wrench to do it, and it's really simple to adjust. So I think blade adjustment on this uh, um, Fiskars is not going to be as easy as it was on the uh, Husqvarna. So I give a point to the Husqvarna on blade adjustment, but of course a point to the Fiskars on the height adjustment. Also, I give points to the Husqvarna on uh, the fasteners that hold the uh, handle together. With the Husqvarna, um, you don't re it doesn't require any tools to put together. Now, something I see on the Fiskars that is superior is this nice heavy spring that controls the height adjustment here. And I do like this little handle also. Okay, now the Fiskars gets points for having a more adjustable handle. Okay, the Fiskars does get points on being well engineered because it has these little hexagonal recesses in the handle, which means you only need one tool. You just put a socket or wrench on this um, to tighten these, these uh, bolts, and you don't have to worry about putting a wrench on the other side to capture the, the bolt to keep it from slipping. See? Hopefully you can see that. My camera doesn't focus very well under close situations, but... It's got a little hex there, and this, this bolt actually fits right in there. See, once it fits in there, then you don't need to, uh, to have a wrench on there. So that's, that's nice. Okay, it's all together, and as I've tried to point out so far, there are some things on the Husqvarna that I do like better. Um, and of course, things on here that I do like better, and that I feel are a must. One thing is a steel um, height adjustment. It's not going to crack. That height adjustment is pretty easy. Now, on the Husqvarna, believe it or not, the blades are sharper from the factory. These blades feel kind of dull to me. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be. Maybe I'll sharpen them. Um, just as substantial, but yet duller. I kind of liked how sharp the blades were on the Husqvarna. However, Fiskars does say that this thing can cut through um, twigs and such, so maybe that's why the blades aren't quite as sharp. So. I wish I wish I was going to keep the uh, the Husqvarna so I could do a cutting test, but I don't feel like it's fair to use the mower to cut with just to do a comparison because I intend to 
return to Husqvarna anyway. So if I was maybe a less honest person, I would do a cutting test with both to compare, but I, I, definitely, I definitely am going to return the Husqvarna just because it has that plastic cog adjustment for the height adjustment. So if I weren't, I would really love to compare the two and see what the difference is because as I said, the Husqvarna has sharper blades. So, and it has an easier height adjustment. So, I kind of like them both um, so far. I don't know which one cuts better, as I said. I like this one because it's more steel. Now, this one is a lot heavier and more substantial. So, um, I really like the height adjustment on this one, and I don't, I don't want any plastic parts, whether I'm paying $200 or $150. Now, the, the Hus Husqvarna is... Um, it's fifty dollars cheaper, um, but still, I'd really rather have steel parts. But oh well, um, it's supposed to rain for the next week, so even if I wanted to do a comparison of the two and see which one cuts better, I'd have to wait a week to do that. So that other one's money on my card, and I don't want the extra expense and pay the finance fees on it. So I'm going to return it this week, and uh, we'll see how the Fiskars works. Hopefully next weekend. Now one thing I do want to note um, before I take this off, or back rather, is that they're a little, these two devices are a little different in the way they function. The Husqvarna um, is a rear discharge. It, the clippings go at the back. Now it has this really cool um, catcher bag here, which would help me um, when I want to put greenery into my compost bin. So I kind of like that. Now the um, the Fiskars is a front discharge. Now they say you can get a bag for it to keep your clippings, but uh, that's extra. So here's the bag that comes with it. I, I do like that better on this model. And as I said, if I had more time and I maybe was a little less ethical, I'd, I'd try them both out and then I'd just return the one that I didn't like. Now, I don't like the plastic cog on this to raise and lower it, but the thing is, if this thing cuts better, I think I'd rather have this. But still, the other one's made better, and the other one has the reviews from Popular Mechanics and Consumer Reports and all that, so I guess I'm pretty safe keeping the other one.